I'm on the floor today because I want to show you this bag. This is a new roller from Think Tank Photo. Now, if you have been following me or my videos for some time, you know that I am a fan of Think Tank Photo and their sister company, Mindshift Gear. This bag specifically, and the reason why it to be on the floor is because of how big it is. This bag is actually a video roller. I think it's called the Video Roller 40 or the Video Roller 44. I'm not sure exactly the number, but it's 40 or 44. It's meant for a video tripod because video tripods are not like a normal still camera tripod. They're actually much bigger. And many times they have wheels, they have these large fluid heads so they can do easy pans and so on. Now, I don't have a video tripod, I have still camera tripods, and I, I love my tripods from Really Right Stuff, but when I saw this bag be announced, I, I knew that it would serve a purpose, it would solve a problem I have had for years. For as long as I can remember, I've always had to take my lighting equipment out of my home studio and and, and go set up for headshots somewhere, or set up for family portraits somewhere, or cake smash photos, and so on. I would always have to carry multiple background stands and light stands and, and all that in multiple cases, and sometimes not even in cases, depending on what the situation is. So sometimes I would find myself carrying an individual light stand in addition to my roller that has my camera equipment and my lighting equipment and whatnot. This is going to solve that issue, making it easy for me to just carry all of my light stands in one bag. The bag is hard. It is very, very hard. In fact, my daughter was just using this as a seat the other day. It holds perfectly. It protects. It has this flap that protects the zipper so that you could actually, uh, you know, it, you can lay it down and, it, you know, water won't get inside. It has a large handle in front to, to pull with. Uh, in addition to the handle, there is in here a lock that is a TSA lock. So you could lock your bag to something or even lock the actual lock the actual zippers, the two zippers together so that it can't be opened. You've got a large pocket here for, you know, identification, maybe press credentials or, you know, a company you work for. There's also on the side, um, on both sides and the bottom are these large grips. You can also, you know, lift if you needed to. There's a little accessory grips that you can attach something to if you need to attach something, like one of the Think Tank's little pouches you can attach here or something like that. Um, if I flip it around, the bottom actually has two feet so it can stand up straight and uh, it's very durable plastic. It has wheels. Now, the wheels are very smooth and the wheels can actually be replaced yourself. You don't have to send it to Think Tank to replace the wheels. You can just contact Think Tank and order new wheels. They're nice, nice heavy duty wheels. And then underneath, you've got the, the plastic to help with gliding if you're, you know, to not scrape it on steps and ruin the fabric. You've got a bottom plate as well. Just very, very well made. And all of this can be replaced if it gets worn down, which is a beautiful thing. Now let's open it up so you can see what I have inside right now. So here's the inside of the bag. You can see it's got these nice sort of seatbelt material straps and these straps are actually meant to hold the, the top open like so, so that it doesn't go all the way back. Now you can actually quickly undo this, this is Velcro, you can undo it and let the top fall down. But I want you to see what I have in here. Uh, there's a giant pocket right here for, you know, cables and stuff like that. There's another one right here, which right now just has like the manual about the bag. And this tiny little triangle pocket, which I'm actually using for the wing nuts that are meant for the, the background stand that I have in here. Aside from that, it's just heavily padded. It's strong on the outside and then soft padding on the inside. There is one divider that can be moved up and down uh, to different locations depending on how big your tripod is. Or in my case, you know, I've got all these light stands, so I have nothing above it. All I have is, is the actual light stands and background stands in here. Everything is strapped in place. You can see I've got these straps in place right now. And what those are doing is, all it's gonna do is make sure that everything that's in here is not rattling around too much. I don't mind if it rattles, but the fact that I can strap everything down and make it pretty tight is pretty, it's a nice thing that I can make sure that it's rattling only a little bit. It's not like jumping around as this, as the bag gets moved. The straps can actually Velcro to the side, which is a nice thing so you don't get lost. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I have in here a bunch of background stand poles and I have in here Let's take them all out. 
Okay, so that was the background stand poles. Here is a, uh, this is an attachment for umbrella. It's an, basically an umbrella adapter that's for my alien bees. And this would just basically clip onto the alien bees and I have an umbrella. One light stand, background stand, background stand or light stand, and another, another light stand. And I could fit even more if I wanted to. Now on the inside, you have, on the inside you have these extra foam pads. Now those are just some added padding so that if your tripod is smaller or bigger, you can remove these and do whatever you want. I'm just leaving them in to squeeze all my light stands tighter. Um, and that's about it. So the inside's pretty, pretty, it's just, it's sparse. There's not much in it. It's just the one divider, the two little pads. And then of course you have these little um, clips that can be also be removed if you want to, that are meant to hold your tripod or all of your light stands down. It holds everything. I have more light stands, which right now are set up for recording. But I have a big adoption fundraiser coming up, so um, once that happens, I'm actually taking down a couple more light stands, and they're going to fit in here. So I'm really looking forward to doing that, getting every single thing in one bag, just grab it by one end, right here, and roll, and take it, throw it in the, in the truck, and between, I'll have basically, now I can have one or two or three bags depending on what the job is that I have to do. So for example, when I do this adoption fundraiser, it's family portraits and it's a whole bunch of different uh, background stations. So I need multiple background stands, multiple light stands. I'm gonna have this for all of the stands, another bag for the lights and uh, some like cables and stuff like that. Another bag for light modifiers and uh, you know clamps and adapters. And then of course my camera, that's it. Uh, it's gonna be very 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 simple to just have bags and bags instead of having to carry things one by one. So let's pull this back. So there you go. That is the uh, new Think Tank roller bag meant for a video tripod. Perfect for light stands. I can still fit more light stands in here. I can even fit some accessories and some cables. And yeah, this is perfect. This solves a problem I've had for a very long time. And I think it could solve your problem too.